All right, so today I picked up this G-Racing shifter and uh, we're gonna install it into the Miata. I've had a, a short shifter for a while now, but I was looking for something a little bit nicer and uh, I found this. And one thing I really liked is we get away from having all the little plastic bits inside of here, um, having to worry about all the little things that kind of break and wear down over time. So we're gonna go with straight metal to metal contact and uh, see how that works out. So nice little piece. Uh, I like the machine work on it. The powder coating is pretty nice. We'll see how it turns out. The only thing that's kind of not the greatest is having a complete metal shifter gets a little hot in the summer with the sun beating right down on it and it just being black. Okay, well, uh, gonna install the Miata. We'll see how she feels. So in traditional Miata short shifters, you have this boot, then you have this boot, and then a lot of times the short shifters will have a spacer and all that gets bolted down with these three bolts here. With this shifter here, all we're going to have is these three bolts here and that boot that goes over this. It's almost a shame to cover it up because it looks so nice. But this is a very stock-esque looking Miata, so let's get it done. <sighs> One thing to note when you're putting this shifter in, make sure you get the plastic piece out of the bottom because this shifter is not going to use it. Next you have your little plastic piece, little metal piece, it's supposed to be attached to the plastic piece. Now, we have this piece, which it came with the short shifter. Technically, if you watched the video from G Racing, um, they actually said that. Uh, you don't have to have all this fluid in here. So they said you can actually drain it and soak it up or, you know, just get rid of it in general. Um, that seems kind of weird to me because I'm going to have a piece of metal contacting another piece of metal and the shaft moving back and forth. Um, I mean, I get it, but I'm just going to leave it in there. So the only real hard part of the installation of this. Uh, you have this screw, or I, I don't even know what it does. Not a, not a clue. Um, I assume once you take this out, that might be like a grease port, or I don't even know. I, I, I can't even guess. Um, so we're just gonna stick this in here, and that just goes forward. So that little thing, port guy, goes forward. So, so they say, although, Sure. Forward. So. This a little. This a little springy. It's a little tight like a tiger. Let me tell you what. Uh, so. Yeah, now the only the only thing I gotta do now is tighten these up. So one of the reasons why I wanted to go to this shifter was 
simply because I liked how simple it was. Um, I mean, you're literally talking about three bolts and the shifter comes back out. Um, in theory, I don't have to do the, the turret fluid. Um, and there's no plastic pieces to, to wear out or to break off or to do anything weird. So, so first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. So I can actually see my transmission flexing a little bit when I actually move that. Um, kind of an interesting aspect to that. Um, Gotta put my trusty cup holder back in. And we're all done. So now, she's pretty notchy. Um, a full review is definitely coming. Um, I mean, we'll see. It's, it's notchy. I can potentially see where going to fifth takes to a lot of effort. That effort to go over and up, but I mean, in terms of in terms of actual play in the shifter, I mean, there's there's nothing. I mean, it's it's snugged it right up. definitely be interesting to drive it out all right guys that's it that's all there is to this shifter i actually really like the install i really like the pieces of it but as we all know the driving is what matters all right we'll see how it goes all right so after having the shifter installed for a good amount of time i can definitely say i love this shifter uh, the, the ease ability to get it into gear forward and aft, just really quick swings. Uh, the short throw of this shifter, the, the really firm feel of it. Initially, uh, I was very skeptical of uh, how stiff it was left to right. But it is definitely something that you kind of grow and, and build on. Um, when you're at the track, it just makes all the shifts feel so firm so crisp so clean everything just feels right it's it's in its place and you don't feel like you're gonna miss anything um, there's no slop in the shifter which just again gives you that confidence that you need when you're at the track uh, definitely you know again forward and aft is super simple it just makes it feel like it's like butters going into gears um, which is really great because uh, for obvious reasons the the Miata is actually a pretty good platform when it comes to shifter feel and so on and so forth. This shifter really brings all of those good things out and uh, allows the Miata to really drive great. Uh, I, I can't say much more about it besides the fact that it's something that I would definitely recommend to anybody else. Um, worth the extra penny spent 
um, definitely a shifter worth that extra money. So uh, go pick up a G Racing shifter and uh, try it out for yourself. Uh, again, one last thing, the placement, how high the shifter is, I love it. It's right where you need it to be. Reach off the steering wheel, grab it, pull that gear down, and go.